Hey everyone, I had a request to do a video on how I use Helium 10 to research keywords that are low competition and high search volume. So that's what I'll be covering today. Now I've seen other YouTubers create videos on Helium 10 and I've seen them use Cerebro and Magnet, but I've never seen any videos that use Helium 10 the way I do using Blackbox. So I'll show you how I do my searches, what I look for, and then after that, I will show you how you can do your searches on your own without having to pay the $97 a month subscription fee for Helium 10. I'll also show you a neat little trick you can do to get more value out of your free subscription. So stick around for that. If you're new here, my name is Peter, and this channel is about growing your passive income through Amazon KDP low content and no content books. All right, let's get started. Here we have the Helium 10 homepage. And as I mentioned, a lot of the YouTube videos that cover Helium 10 usually use the tools under the keyword research menu, namely Cerebro and Magnet. But I like to use under product research, a tool called Blackbox. Blackbox is marketed as a product research tool, but if you go to the keywords tab, Blackbox will allow you to search for any keywords that you'd like. There are several search criteria you could use to narrow down your search. Here at the top, we have search volume per month, monthly revenue, price, review count, review rating, word count, and a whole bunch more down here that I won't cover today. But I'll tell you that the ones I use mostly are search volume per month. I usually enter 300. Keyword search is the main keyword that I want to start looking for. And we'll go over some examples later. And finally, the third criteria I use is competing products. Most of the time I put a thousand here. So let's put a minimum of 300 searches per month and then a maximum of 1,000 competing products. And for keyword search, this is where you would put your main keyword. For example, if I'm looking for a niche in the coloring book space, I would put coloring book here. And what this will return are keywords that it finds with the word coloring book in it. And as you can see, there are over 200 keywords it found. Even though it says products, it means keywords. Now let's look at the data it returns. We have the first column, which is a phrase, in this case, criminal coloring book. Then the next column, we have search volume. This is 403 searches per month. And if you click on this chart, it'll tell you the trend for this keyword. And you can see that around May, it peaks and then it dropped. Um, end of May 2020, it stayed low. And now it's peaking back up December, of course, the Q4 rush. And in January, it continues to pick up. And the last date it has here is January 29th. The next column is the average price of the books uh, for this keyword. So in this case, $8.73. Monthly sales is the number of sales for all the books in this keyword. Monthly revenue is, of course, the, the total price sold for those books. The average BSR for the keyword. Reviews is the total number of reviews for all the products for the keyword and the average review score 4.6. Then when we look down here also, we can see that competing products, there are a little more than 324. And in my experience, this number is pretty close. Sometimes it's a little bit more in Amazon, but not too far off. So then after I get my results, I scroll down and what I try to look for is a combination of good search volume as well as low competing products. This one, DDLG Coloring Book, has 409, which is pretty good, and only 157 competing products. I don't know what DDLG is, so I'll just keep going. So as you can see, it returns a lot of data, over 200 results, but Helium 10 will only return a max of 200. So if I go to the last page, it's 20 results per page, and it's only 200. To narrow down your search, you can increase the search volume to, let's say, a thousand per month. And now it only returned 111. So that's a quick look at Blackbox. And if you get a chance to play with Blackbox, make sure to adjust some of the other search criteria because you can really fine tune your search to return exactly what you need. Coming back to this keyword search field, there's so many things you can put in here. You can put the usual low content, no content keywords like logbook, journal, puzzle books, crossword, and so on. But here's a trick. 
you can enter a cross niche in this keyword search and it'll give you ideas for your low content or no content book. For example, if I enter mermaid, let's set this back to, let's say 100. You can see all the keywords with mermaids in them. And as you go through, you might see a keyword that'll give you an idea for a coloring book or a puzzle book. Let's see if we can find one. Mermaid tattoo, so there's a good one. There are 362 searches for mermaid tattoo with 802 competing products, but you might want to create a mermaid tattoo coloring book. That seems to be a thing people are searching for. Let's enter another keyword. Another popular cross niche is farting. Farting animals, farting dogs, farting cats. Here we already found farting bear, farting cow. 170 searches, 300 searches per month, farting putty, farting robots, farting dinosaurs. So you can see that you can create activity books, coloring books, maybe even journal and log books with a farting hippo on the cover. There are 1,420 searches for farting hippo with only 52 competing products. Yeah, so you get the idea. There's no question that Helium 10 and Blackbox is a great tool for niche research. But looking at the prices here, they have a free version that has limited usage, a platinum version that is $97, a diamond for $197, and an elite version for a whopping $397 per month. Taking a closer look at the free version, you get 20 black box uses for all time, meaning once you use up the 20 searches, that's all you get. Then you get two Cerebro uses per day and two magnet uses per day. But I'm gonna show you a little trick where you can get the most out of your 20 uses for black box. So here I created a free account with another of my email addresses and we're gonna use the farting example we used earlier. This time I'm going to leave the search volume blank and also the competing products blank just so we can get the most search results as possible. I hit search and we have 105 phrases found. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, there should be about 20 search results per page and there's gonna be a button to show more results. But there's a gotcha. To see the other search results, you have to upgrade, which is something they don't tell you when you sign up for your free account. But there is a way to get more search results. And you do that by clicking on the column headers. And what this will do is it'll resort the search results. So I clicked on phrase and now it's sorting the search results alphabetically from A to B. Now I can get some more results that I didn't get the first time. If I go back up and click on phrase again, it'll sort it backwards from Z to A. And now we have more results. And this can be done with all the column headers up here. If I click on search volume, it's gonna sort by lowest to highest, going from 10, 12. And on the left, we can see the accompanying search phrase. I click on search volume again, it'll go from highest to lowest. Highest being 1,467 for farting hippo. So you can also do this for price, monthly sales, monthly revenue, BSR, and reviews. And there's also a little bit more. If you click on this dropdown, there are things like word count and number of sellers. These aren't column headers, but they allow you to sort by these also. So this is a great way to get the most out of your 20 black box searches from your free account. Unless that is you have another email account. And that's it for this video. That's how I do my niche research using Helium 10's black box tool. If you found value in this video, I appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe. Until next time, keep creating.